Hey, deserving listeners, it's just me today. Today, I want to talk about therapist competence, you know, whether or not a therapist is competent enough to be doing what they're doing. And also, I want to talk about some of the infighting that happens within my field of psychotherapy and counseling and all the other areas. Many of us fight with each other about who is competent to provide what, you know, the various forms of therapy there are. Psychologists want the ability to prescribe, for instance, but psychiatrists will fight against that, claiming that psychologists are not competent to prescribe meds. Child specialists, people who specialize in working with children, they want the ability to use art with their clients or play with their clients, but registered art therapists and registered play therapists might fight against that, again, claiming that Without those training areas, they're not competent to use art or to use play. Some counselors who aren't trained in marriage and family therapy, they want to see couples. But marriage and family therapists, like myself, might fight against that. Incidentally, I don't think I would. But but many marriage and family therapists will claim that you need to be a marriage and family therapist to, to see couples and families. And this, this list of infighting goes on and on and on. There's just so much fighting. Well, that's what I want to talk about today. I'm going to talk about competence. I'm going to talk about the ethics involved. I'm going to talk about, how, you know, I'll talk, you know, I'll introduce some ideas about how we measure competence. And I'll get into some of the specific fights that are happening right now within our field and talk about some of the legal stuff. Welcome to the Psychology in Seattle podcast. I am your host, Dr. Kirk Honda. I'm a therapist and I'm also a professor. This episode is just for patrons of the podcast. So if you're listening to this and you're not a patron of the podcast, I have to severely apologize because this episode will end before the content begins. But if you want to hear the full episode, all you got to do is go to patreon.com and become a patron of the podcast. When you become a patron, you get access to hundreds of premium episodes like this one. And also remember that a portion of all the monthly pledges goes towards various charities that we support. 